Let's find out the value of the given trigonometric expression. We will begin by first calculating the values of each of the trigonometric ratio. Let us begin with our first one. We have sine pi over 6. So sine pi over 6, that is half. Then we have secant of pi over 3. So secant of pi over 3, that's going to be equals to 2. Then we have sine 5 pi over 6 which can be also expressed as sine pi minus pi over 6. The reason why we have written it like this is so that we can express pi as a multiple of pi over 2, which is simply 2 times pi over 2 minus pi over 6. Now here we too have as an even number. So we have an even multiple of pi over 2. The trigonometric function sine is going to remain as sine. So we have sine pi over 6. But we'll also have to check in which quadrant the angle of pi pi over 6 radian lies. So since we have 2 times pi over 2, we are going to count from the first quadrant in the anti-clockwise fashion. So we have 1 pi over 2, then we have 2 pi over 2. But we are also subtracting pi over 6 from 2 pi over 2. But pi over 6 is an angle lying between 0 and pi over 2 radian. So we are still going to lie in the second quadrant. Now in the second quadrant, sine is positive. So that means our value is going to be positive, sine pi over 6. And pi over 6, that gives us a value 1 half. Then coming to the value of cotangent of pi over 4. Now that's a standard value at 1. So we're going to substitute all this value into given expression. So we have 3 times sine pi over 6. Multiplied to secant or pi over 3. Minus 4 times sine 5 pi over 6. Multiplied to cotangent of pi over 4 which will be equals to, we have 3 times, so sine pi over 6, that's half. Multiply to secant pi over 3, so that's 2. Minus 4 times sine pi 5 pi over 6 has a value of half. Multiply to cotangent of pi over 4, so that's 1. So here, 2 and 2 gets cancelled. That is going to leave us with value 3. Then 2 times 2 is 4, so we have 3 minus 2, and the final value is going to be equals to 1. So the value of the given trigonometric expression is going to be 1.